welcome to another Tech Guru video. I am taking a first look and overview at Adobe Photoshop CS6. It is in the beta right now and you can download that for free at the Adobe Labs website. I will put a link to my video showing you how to do that here uh, in the annotations. Uh, so I'm going to just overlook uh, some of the features in uh, Photoshop CS6 uh, and I've got some other video tutorials out already and there will be more to come about some of the new features in more detail but I'm going to take a look at just the interface and just the uh, tools here that you'll see and uh, we'll go ahead and get started now. So as you see in Photoshop CS6, uh, the interface is a little different. There is a uh, dark interface here. Uh, you can change that, and I have a video on how to do that as well. Uh, so over here on your toolbar, it's the uh, usual suspects, uh, per pretty much. Uh, you have first you have your uh, move tool, uh, then you have underneath that uh, you have your rectangular marquee and elliptical marquee tool, uh, as well as the single row and column marquee tool. You also have uh, right here your lasso, polygonal lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool to remove things and to select uh, detailed objects. Uh, below that you have the quick selection tool and your magic wand tool. Uh, this as always will allow you to select areas in an image to remove backgrounds and uh, do things such as that. You have the new and improved crop tool, which I have a video on as well. Uh, the crop tool in CS6 of Photoshop has been improved dramatically, and I believe that you guys will uh, see that as well. Um, so what I will do is link you to uh, that video as well. So. Uh, underneath the crop tool, you have your uh, eyedropper tool, which will allow you to match colors uh, exactly with the color that you choose. Uh, then you have your spot healing tool, where you can go and remove blemishes and uh, different things uh, of the sort. The healing brush tool, as well as the patch tool, content aware move tool, and the red eye tool. Uh, below that, you have your normal paintbrush tool, and within the paintbrush tool uh, in CS6, you have your pencil tool, uh, color replacement tool, and mixer brush tool. Right underneath the brush tool, you will see the clone stamp tool as well as the pattern stamp tool. Below those you will see the history brush tool as well as the art history brush tool and I will do a video on those in more detail at a later date. Uh, below those you will see your normal eraser tool, background eraser tool, and magic eraser tool. Uh, all of those obviously are pretty self-explanatory. Below that is your gradient tool, paint bucket tool, and 3D material drop tool. Uh, then you have your blur tool, sharpen, and smudge tool right underneath that. Right underneath those three tools you you have your dodge, burn, and sponge tools, and the uh, pen tool is right below them. Then you have your text tool, which is uh, works pretty. Uh, actually, it's very similar to CS5, uh, but a few more options added within uh, that tool. Then you have your path and direct selection tools here. Below those, you have your object tools, which are rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, line, and you can now do a custom shape. Uh, then you have your uh, hand tool, which you, allows you to go through and drag and uh, adjust where you're viewing on the screen. And obviously your zoom in and zoom out tool, which allows you to zoom in real close or or zoom out as far as you want. So that is the kind of basic breakdown of the tools within Photoshop CS6. Uh, as I said earlier, you've got a different interface here. Over here on the right side, you have your history, which will uh, take you to kind of the different layers and the different tools that you've been to recently. You uh, have your uh, brush tool right here, your brush panel, which will allow you to go in and select the types of brush you want to use through presets and whatnot. Uh, right underneath that, you have your presets uh, from your brushes, so you can go through here and select those. Uh, then you have your clone source. It allows you to go through and use the clone tools that I had just previously showed you. Underneath that is your character uh, tab here. So this is just some things that I put over here to customize my um, Photoshop CS6 interface. Underneath here, as you can see, I've got the Layers tab open over here, which is pretty much looks very similar to the one in CS5 and before with the Delete, Create a New Layer, uh, Create a New Folder for a Layer, Create a um, uh, Fill or Adjustment Layers, and you can add effects and stuff to your layers from down there as well. Uh, something new you'll see here will be uh, the timeline here. You can edit some video now within Photoshop, and I will show you how to do that later. Uh, as you see right up here in the top right-hand corner, uh, this is the 3D um, viewing uh, area here when you have something that you've created in 3D you will see that through that. Uh, so Photoshop CS6 has a lot of good features that have been included that have really made it uh, something really neat uh, and I will show you all of those in videos to come in the very near future. If you've got any questions about Photoshop CS6, please put them in the comment box below. I will link the video that shows you how to download this beta for free. Uh, I believe that the 
improvements made to CS6 make it well worth the purchase when it does come out. Uh, so I would recommend definitely if you are an avid uh, Photoshop user and a photographer of any sort, I would definitely recommend uh, this program for you. Uh, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and rate because that does help me out. And if you have any questions, again, put them in the comment box below, and I will see you guys next time.